What's going on, everybody? This is probably going to be a little bit longer of a talk in a video. We're going to go over what we call PMGs, the precious metal gems, out of uh, made by Skybox in basketball a while back. And if you're starting to see these, they're starting to get more and more advanced with the fakes out there. There's so many of them have been graded by BGS and PSA because graders are, you know, they're looking over the stuff, but the, I'm telling you, the fakes are just really, really good out there. And unless you know what you're looking for, you, I would say stay away from it. If I was to buy a PMG, one, I'd have to know somebody actually physically pulled that out of a pack. Or two, I would want some really in-depth pictures or videos. And I'd be the guy that would be asking for help across the board with some of the experts onto this. Because when I'm looking at this stuff, and I would going through a lot of articles onto it, I'm looking at it going, okay, I'm not understanding where it is. And it's such a minute um, piece onto it. You're going to be like, wow, really? And this is how good the fakes are getting on this stuff. So let me show you guys where I'm at here. Oop, this is it. So this is it, it's something that's been brought back up after it's been out for a while. But there's newer ones out there now. These are all, like I said, precious metals and stuff like that that they call them. Or plat some are platinum medallions, whatever it may be. But everybody's refers to these as their PMGs, the precious metal gems. But platinum medallion, refractor, Kobe Bryant. I mean, 32 bids at $3,400. Now, this guy here does not go into detail on why they're fakes on in this article. Because what they found is by people posting what is wrong with them, these guys are becoming more advanced in fixing their errors. So they've been getting mostly with PSA and Beckett to help them out with uh, stopping and eliminating, you know, the grading of these. And I don't know how well it's worked out because I've read different pieces on to but I probably spent going through a lot of this stuff probably about, oh... I'm going to say about two hours yesterday, and I was just going back through a little bit now. But if you're going to start looking and wanting to buy into PMGs and all that stuff, be very, very careful. You're better off, honestly, going out and trying to buy a case of the Skybox stuff and hoping you hit something out of it to be graded. I will say this much. There's a lot of stuff with, with chippings that go on with it and everything else. But what I want to do is uh, give you guys some attention to it. And... Just in case you're out at a show or somewhere and somebody has it and they look like really good condition. And even if they're graded, um, they might not be. I mean, I know there was one that was circling, circling the Dallas card show here. I want to say it was recently. And if you guys remember that diamond service, I think it's like Mike Baker owns or something like that. Let me see if I could flip it over here and find it. I probably won't offhand. But I believe it was... Uh... Oh, here it is. Okay, let me flip it back over. So as you guys can see here, this is like where they grade the grader type deal. Remember them stickers and stuff? And they're saying, yep, it's 100% real. And there's a lot of people arguing over it. I want to say... Yeah, it's Mike Baker who uh, does this. So now they're starting to wonder, are these stickers now being faked as well, too, out there? And I'll tell you, these guys know, like, there's guys out there that are, like, huge PMG dudes that know the difference by looking at pictures and everything else. They can tell you fake right off the bat. It's not because they want to go out there and snipe it or buy it underneath you. It's basically because they know that this has been going on for a while. And now these new ones are coming out from Asia again. And they are good. So I'm going to show you guys. So this is on the Kobe. I want you to look at this Lakers symbol. What do you notice there? I mean, it's kind of hard to figure out. Right in here is where your fake piece is of it. Check this out. Here it is again. Anybody figuring it out by looking at it? All right, look right here. See there how that L has that little space there? There's none right here. And this is where these guys are finding this stuff at. Check this out, Orlando Magic. O, where it's off here. The star is off. 
and then you're uh, somewhere in here. I haven't really figured this one out yet. I think it's the star itself is off. But you could just look at this stuff, and it's just like, wow, There, it's the team logos. It is really, really hard on to it. Um, it says, first of all, the width of the letters and patches of negative space are different sizes. Also, the logo is offset, leaving a white drop shadow on the right of each letter. Um, but the most uh, biggest thing is the missing space between the star and the... Oops, let me scroll over. The letter N in Orlando. So, kind of crazy. See right here? And we'll go down to the fake. It's right on to it. So, like I said, this stuff is getting crazy on trying to pick this stuff out anymore. Really, really huge. But be careful with what you guys are, if you're into PMGs. That just shows you how people have to look at this stuff in depth and measure it up back and forth to find out, you know, what what makes this a fake. And it, I'm telling you, it's getting sophisticated out there with the PMGs. I am to the point to where I probably would not even buy a graded one uh, myself, even if I wanted to spend that kind of money. I would probably get better go off and buy a case of boxes, open it myself, grade it, and know that, hey, this is real, came out of a pack, even if it's not Jordan. You know, other people, like, I saw him pull that out of the pack. I'm a huge, you know, whoever fan, Shaq, or I think there's Kobe's out there, or um, Penny Hardaway, stuff like that there. And I, they, somebody would feel safe buying it that way off of you. But, wow, I mean... Insane. You know, my mind was really blown by going through a lot of this yesterday. And I was like, I don't even know if I would be able to pick up stuff like that there right off the bat without knowing and somebody showing me this. Now, a lot of people, like I said, are afraid to share this publicly. And it's just been going on little smaller groups, some other stuff that they've been noticing. Because what they found is these people that are over in Asia are actually reading this stuff going, okay, we need to fix all this, and they are. So, like I said, be careful out there, everybody. It's not to be, I don't want to be Debbie Downer out there and stuff like that there. But if you're into basketball, you're into PMGs, you're not sure if something's right onto the card, I would suggest going on blowout forums, um, trying to hit up, uh, the guy in the original post here. He's real good at this. Uh, Roger Maris. That's it. He's one. And then the guy, I want to say it was somewhere. Let me scroll back up. That's Roger Maris. Who was the guy? In the, oh, Roger Maris as well, too. Okay. So it is all him on to here. I would probably try to link up with that guy there if you guys had questions on to it. Because, man, the stuff that they dig into those, it's insane. But I wanted to bring, like I said, something a little bit different in the video with this here. It's actually kind of shorter than some other ones, not much longer. <laughs> now that I'm looking at time. But to bring people aware of the precious metal gems, whether whatever kind they are, or the plat or what do you have, platinum medallions and all that other stuff. There's a ton of fakes out there from the, I'd say, I think they started in 96 through 99 with them, maybe 98. I'd really have to go back and look, but it, it's it's really some crazy stuff out there when you start getting into rubies and everything else with it. All right, everybody, hopefully this video helps out with somebody. If you're going to go out there and you start seeing stuff like this, um, I do need to do a video showing everybody about the BGS slab where the dot is too. Uh, I gotta dig out a BGS slab, so that'll probably be another video this week. But again, everybody, I appreciate the support to the channel. Um, it's because everybody going out there telling people about this channel. The channel is growing and it's getting more information out there. Thank you very much for that. And as always, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We're on our way to 4K. Uh, there will be a giveaway at 4K. And I had something else on tip of my tongue, and it just went away there real quick. But other than that, everybody, I'm sure I'll hit in the next video. Have a good week. 
and I'll catch you all next video.